Hi, hello guys. Welcome to today's section. Today we are going to tackle this question. Shell permission 101. So make sure you go through the content. Make sure you know the, the meaning of all these chimod, sudo, so, chimon, all of them. Make sure you go through them. So I want to go post it to the quiz question. So the number one quiz question says, what is the numeric car value of the numerical value for the wx permission so here you know there are six just like this is arrow w x which means read write and execute and this other side is read write execute so if you break it down you discover that this question here, what we have is W, W stands, the, the, the value for W is 2, right? Why the value for X is 1, right? The value for arrow is 4. That's why you see from the, 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 the complete um, file permission is 777. When there is no uh, there is no restriction, you will see seven seven. But because this one there is restriction, you can see that this section is for for the owner. This other three section is for group owner. Then this or this other three section is for the what the other users. So now, what is the answer for this question? The answer for this W is two two. Then R X is what? 1. So what do you see here? You see this side is 0 because there is no file permission there. So you see that this is the answer, right? So that's the answer. Then for the number 1 question, it said what is the numerical value for the arrow dash X, arrow dash dash, arrow dash dash? What does this imply? This implies that the first arrow there and dash X is for the owner. Then the arrow dash dash is for who? the group users. Then the arrow dash dash is for the last section. This arrow dash dash here is for the all is all the, all the users. So, like I said before, arrow stands for what? Four. The dash is zero. The x is what? The x is one. So four plus one will give you what? Five, which is five, five. Then Arrow dash dash arrow stand for what four dash dash zero four plus zero zero is still four. The same thing implies here four plus zero zero is still four. So our answer here is five four four is the numerical value for that permission. Are you getting me? So you can drop your question in the comment section. I will answer them as as best as I can. Okay. Now number two question say what is the numerical value for the x w a arrow w x the other one is dash 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 so this what this implies that the permission for this is only the uh, owner has permission to read write and execute every other person does not have it so this arrow stands for four this arrow stand for four this arrow stand for four the w stand for for two then the x stands for one so it should be seven seven hundred is the answer seven zero zero so you get it now so that is that then the number four quest number three question says what is the permission value for the file read only for the group owner remember i told you that the group owner is only is the section this section here this one in the middle that's the group owner so if it's read only what is read only? Read only is the arrow there. So is the arrow there. So that means the first word, which is the all users, will be zero. Then the read only will be what? Four. Then the other users will be zero. So this is the answer. Are you with me? Let's continue. Now you go to the next section, which is number four. What is the permission value for a file without any restriction? Are you with me? So the file without any uh, restriction is the one with the triple seven, which means arrow wx read 
only read, write, and execute for all the for the owner. The second one is read, write, and execute for the group used owner. Read, write, and execute for all these users. So the answer is seven seven. Are you with me? Then which command should I use for changing a file owner? Oh, I want to change a file owner. Which command would I use? Then because you said file owner, so it should be command own, which is chown. C -W C H O W N. This this C H means command and owner. You see, if it's for the the the, the, the group, you see C H group. Are you are you with me? And uh, C H command move. Uh -huh. So that's that. And now, which command should I use for changing the file permission? To change file permission, then you will use this ch mode. This C H M O D. So let's check if our answers are correct. Now let me click the submit. Yes. Oh, fantastic! You see, our answers are correct. That means why we, we we got it right. So we can start the next question now. So I will stop the video here so I can tackle the next question for you in another video so that the video can be short for you. Thank you very much. Drop your questions. I will answer them on the comment section. Thank you very much.